welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. Woo! We are almost there. We have six days till Christmas. <clears throat> we have six days till Christmas. And we have one and a half days of school. Today's Polar Express Day. And we are ready to get started to party. So let me show you my outfit. And we'll get started with our day. Okay, I'll show you what my pants look like because that's the most interesting thing in my outfit right now. So let me get you down here so you can see. Pants, the Santa Claus is. Yeah, Santa Claus is. All right, let's go over and see what girlfriend's doing. Oh, I see her. Here she is. She's ready for Polar Express Day too. Here we go. Check it out. She's in her pajamas too. <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit of a splurge. It was a little more than I thought I should spend, but. It says making spirits bright in her little nightgown. She's all ready. She's got her Polar Express bell because she's ready for Polar Express Day. I'm ready for Polar Express Day, it says. And she's got the book for us to read. So cute. She is ready. She is styling. Girlfriend's almost ready to go back to the North Pole. Tomorrow's her last day. Sad. So she is ready to party. I will talk to you later. Uh, I believe this is my her Yeah, me too. Phew, we have had a fun-filled morning. So we started off partner reading, and then a mama came in and started making pancakes and made a whole buffet of pancake toppings with Cool Whip and blueberries and strawberries and chocolate chips and sprinkles and syrup. And we had hot chocolate with whipped cream and with candy canes to stir with and chocolate chips, Hershey bars. I'm not sure any of the kids put a Hershey bar in, but they had that option. And we did a roll in color. We did a roll three in color. Again, and it was a penguin. Well, this is the one from yesterday that I talked about. And it came from, oh, it's, yeah, from the Moffat Girls. Yeah, I think it was December no prep printables. And then, ooh, let's see, what else did we do? Um, oh, we did one of those watch, think, and colors in one of these from the primary techie and I did a um, listening color where oh, sorry I have a headache now oh where the computer voice tells the kids the color and on the screen it shows I can just kind of show you what it would look like um, yeah I'll just show you real quick on my computer it'll look like that so at the top it tells them what color and then there's a little voice that comes on and says 34 34 it, it'll do it twice and I showed you that on another vlog where we did a different one of those but and it, it ended up being Santa and I did show that because I got a, a shot of that and the kids were very excited and they were guessing oh I think it's an elf I think it's an elf and I'm like mm, I don't know I don't think it's an elf and then at the end I said technically if you thought it was an elf you were right because Santa is the head elf so there you go good job yeah we had a couple of kids that were just they kept talking throughout it and I said guys on the screen it says, shh, listen, shh, listen. Because if you're talking, you don't hear the number and you don't know what to go or shh, so listen, please. So I had a lot of patience today because I just knew, <clears throat> excuse me, I knew, I knew they'd be excited. Of course they're excited. It's a special day. So I haven't been real about talking like I normally would be during regular school work. I've just been very please be respectful and let your friends hear and things like that, you know? So this morning our entire network was down. So best laid plans, kaplooey. We couldn't do attendance. We couldn't do lunch count. We couldn't send emails. We couldn't print anything. <sighs> so there went my YouTube watching for Liam Neeson's version of Polar Express. There went my showing watch the color because not only was the internet down our network was down which means we couldn't even use our computer yeah my computer would not log into the network because the network would not connect to my computer so you're locked out of anything you can't even project anything from your computer without the network logging you into the system so that was like why today why why today why Santa Claus why so that was a stinky deal eventually I kept trying it and kept trying and kept trying it. Eventually, I was able to log in and got to work. So while they were eating their pancakes, 
I was able to show them the YouTube version of Polar Express that Liam Neeson reads the narration for. So that was nice, although I'd already read them the story because I wasn't sure it was ever going to work. And so some of them were just not that interested, but the Liam Neeson version is really nice and it's free, of course. So if you just go, if you type in the Polar Express, it'll come up. It was really, I enjoyed it. He has a very nice, calm, soothing voice and it didn't, it wasn't necessarily animated per se as it showed the pictures and they kind of moved the pictures a little bit. So there was a little bit of movement in it. It was just a nice a nice version of the story. I got an oodle, an oodle of Christmas presents today. So I have some stashed under here. So one of my first grade friends, well, one of my first grade colleagues brought me this little gift set and it's got like a, a lotion and a gel and I want to say that's like a shower mist or a body mist. Very nice. Very nice. And then another one of my first grade peeps brought me a bath bomb. I think it didn't fare too well in the car. It's more of a bath salt now, but that's okay. And it's, um, I don't remember what scent she said it was, but I don't care. I love these. So I'll be using that over Christmas break. Yes. And I've already, I've got, I had a stack of thank you notes to fill out and I've already given them all out except for the one student who gave me the gift and I haven't opened it yet. And I didn't want to open it without him being here. So he goes, I can't wait for you to open it. I can't wait. I want to tell you what's in it, and I, but I'm not going to tell you. And I'm like, that's great because I'd like to open it and you can see. So I just never got a chance to open it. So I figure after lunch, I'll open it before we watch the Polar Express. Also, one of my students from last year brought me a plate of cookies. He said, my mom sent these for me to give to you. He was a very special student in my class last year. We had, we had to work through some difficulties. But because of those difficulties, he and I developed a very special bond, pun intended, I suppose. <laughs> so he's very special to my heart and always will be. So he brought me these yummy cookies. And one of my lovely girls brought me this neat, like, movie snack kit. And then it's got, like, M&Ms and peanut M&Ms and popcorn and a bowl to put it in. And then this cute little... I think she just taped it on. Oh yeah, I can take it on. Cute little Santa box with a little bow. And it has, I think it's a movie gift card. I didn't look at it real closely. Yes. Ho, 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 enjoy the show. So, that's awesome. Ooh, it's a $25 gift card to the movie theater. So I see a date in my future with my honey. Mm-hmm. We will use that and enjoy. Very, very nice. So, put that back together so I don't lose it all. I also got some chocolates. Yum. You go wrong with candy. And then, this is the gift that my little firsty friend brought me that I haven't opened yet because I told him I would open it when everybody was settled and stuff, and that just never happened <laughs> because then we started pancake land. So, I figured I would just wait until after lunch and they could be a little bit calmer. And then, I've already got his thank you note ready got his name on it I just need to write you know thank you for whatever it is and depending on what it is I'll you know adjust the note accordingly there's that oh goodness I've got my Polar Express bells all ready to go I showed that in my vlog last night in case you didn't see it I on my vlog from yesterday I had the link to where you can get this free printable I just printed it on cardstock and just cut around the edges ain't nobody got time to cut these beautiful little curves and stuff it's very pretty though. And then I have these little bells for them. I was hoping I could just hole punch and loop it through, but it's not long enough to loop the bell through. So that's okay. That'll work. Let's see what else. Oh, we also did a, oh, we did a graphing activity that was by Jessica Williamson. Yeah, I believe. Jessica Williamson. Yeah. And it wasn't this one. It was, have you ever ridden a train? But it comes in this little set. And so, yeah. This one is, do you like your hot chocolate with marshmallows? And then there's one, of, have you watched the movie The Polar Express? Which, I want to say that Polar Express is a little bit over an hour and a half. And we have, 
when we come back from the restroom after I open the gift, we'll have a good hour and a half before recess. So really, I don't think I'll do that one. I think I'll just, the hot chocolate with marshmallows, we could totally do that when we come back from break because we'll have a snow day at school and they'll have hot chocolate for that. So I can just save that one. And the other one, I'll just save it for next year because there's really not time to do another survey. They really enjoy doing the survey. They just had to go ask 10 friends had they been on a train or not. And they're supposed to tally the yeses and nos. And I did explain to them, you only need to ask 10 people. And once you get 10 tally marks total, you know, with your yeses and nos, 10 together, then you're done and you can go color in your graph. But some of them thought you needed 10 yeses and 10 nos. And so they just kept going around. And we didn't have that many people here today. So I think they were just asking the same people over and over again. It's okay. We have not done our graphing unit yet. So this is kind of like a preview to the graphing unit. They've done surveys before, but I guess they forgot. Because I know we've done, we did some in Halloween. At Halloween, not in Halloween. Anyway, I think they enjoyed it because they got to get up with a clipboard and walk around and talk to each other. So that's always nice. And to get them up and moving is always good too as a break. <laughs> One little boy after he ate two pancakes covered in Cool Whip and syrup and he had a candy cane and hot chocolate and fruit and stuff. He goes, I don't feel very good. I said, did you have a lot of sweets? Uh-huh. I said, yeah, that's why we're not going to do our cookies right now. He's like, whoa. <laughs> like that did not appeal to him at all. And I don't blame him. So the mama had thought that we would decorate Christmas cookies after they ate the pancakes. And I was like, maybe we should wait till after lunch and see how they feel. Because they're going to have lunch too, for Pete's sake. So their little tummies just can't take as much as their little eyes think they can. <laughs> their eyes get really big and they think they can just eat all this stuff. And after they get into it, they realize that's too much. Yeah. And I never make them finish their plate. I'm one of those teachers that says, if you want some, it's fine. If you just, if you change your mind after you get it and you don't want it, it's okay. You don't have to eat it. But if you really don't like something, don't take it. I mean, you know, be, be reasonable about it. If you know that you just do not like broccoli, no matter what you do to it, then just don't get broccoli or whatever the thing is. If you don't like sugar cookies, then don't take a sugar cookie. It's okay. You don't have to take something. And they've really, they kind of at first were like, they thought they had to take stuff. I don't know where they got the idea, but I've told them every day at snack time, you do not have to have something to eat unless you just want it. I'm not forcing you to eat snack. It's available to you should you choose to eat it. If you do not want snack, you do not have to have snack. And I have had one little boy start saying, no, thank you. I'd rather not have snack. And I'm like, okay, that's great. No problem. And he, at first when he said it, he was almost apologetic. Like, I'm sorry, I don't want snack. And I said, friend, it is okay if you don't want snack. Because they do eat breakfast at school, many of them. So they're not hungry. And that I don't want them to eat if they're not hungry. We don't want to develop bad eating habits in our classroom that will, you know, carry them through adulthood. We don't need that. So... I'm trying to teach them life skills along the way as much as I can. So that was pretty good. Um, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to take some medicine for my aching head. Get some. I got some ice. I don't remember where I put it. Oh, it's over on my table. <laughs> I need to finish those parent gifts. So I was going to try to finish them before the lady came in at 830. She came in early. And I was like, oh, goodness. And I didn't want her to see what they were. But she may have glanced at it, whatever. But I had to clean off my table all the way so she could use it for the pancakes and the hot cocoa. Which... She made another batch of hot cocoa before she left. So I've got a whole crock pot full of hot cocoa simmering on my table. That might be nice sometime after lunch before we go to recess maybe or maybe after recess. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to give it to them right away though because they're going to be, ugh, you know. A little bit goes a long way in a first grade tummy. So I definitely want them to enjoy today and not be sick. That's not fun at all. All right. I still need to use my little... um get get out 20 minutes early thing so I need to email my principal really fast and ask if I can do that tomorrow because honestly it wouldn't do me any good to use it today because my daughter won't be here early enough for me to leave 20 minutes early so it'll be a waste so I need to see if I can get that to work let me I gotta find my email is that it okay no I think my email shut down when I restarted my computer earlier I didn't get it back on all right so I'm gonna go for now and try to get those parent gifts done. And, oh, before I forget, let me show you what I'm giving my students. Because tomorrow is going to be, like, it'll start and it'll be over really fast. Because it's a half day. We have the Christmas with Santa breakfast. So they have breakfast with Santa. 
every student gets to line up in the gym or the cafeteria, whatever. I think it's the gym. I think they eat their breakfast and then they go to the cap, the gym, bleh, and they get to sit on Santa's lap, tell Santa what they want for Christmas, get an orange from the PTA, and then come down to their classroom. So we have, sorry, this hat is very itchy. <laughs> the kids trickle down to the classroom for a good half hour to 45 minutes because it just takes that long to get 440 students through. So that's always how the morning is. And then I need to remember to bring my orange peeler too because I cannot peel anything to save my life. Then um, we have the sing-along, which is um, the whole school sits in the gym and we sing Christmas songs together. And then also if you want your class to do something special or if teachers want to do a special song or something, they get to do that too. So that's pretty cool. And that'll last for, I don't know, it starts at 930 and it goes till whenever it goes. And then we have lunch at 11. And then pretty much, there's not much time after that. We'll probably read some Christmas stories after lunch. We get out at 11.25 from our lunch. We'll come back to the classroom after taking a restroom break. And then I'll have them pack their things up to take home. And then I put 1.45 to 12.05. Hmm. 1.45 to 12.05. I left off my 11. My, I left off my extra one to make an 11. There we go. Yeah, that's interesting. Hurried, hurried fingers. Okay, so here is my Christmas gift to my students. And I think I'm going to add some candy canes and maybe a Christmas pencil or something. But this is the gist of it. So I've got this. Have a delightful Christmas. And this was a freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers. And if I can find it, I'd be in my free download tell you who got I'll tell you who I got it from so that you can use it too um it's by Jennifer Heyer H-I-E-R at early learning ideas and it's mini play-doh mats a simple gift for students is what it's called because I I probably won't remember the link honestly because my brain is just kind of gone okay so anyway there's a there are little gift taggies and there are red and green ones and then you get these four little mats that you can use Play-Doh to make decorations. So you make a bow and put it on this one. This one, you see the little outlines of the lights. They make Christmas lights and fill in the spots with Christmas lights that they've rolled with Play-Doh. Whoa, that one rolled away. <laughs> Speaking of rolling, there's a Christmas tree. They can make little Play-Doh decorations to stick to their tree. And they can make a star and like garland and snowballs or whatever. And then this one is a little decorated gingerbread man. Aren't they cute? And it works really great. Now, I don't know if your Target still has these. Mine do not. None of my Targets have these anymore. I'm glad I nabbed them early. I showed you this in my little Target mini Christmas haul earlier, like in November probably. They had little four packs of Christmas Play-Doh, and they're scented. So it came with a snowman, a Yeti, a Santa, and a penguin. Okay, here are the other two. Santa and a penguin. And so what I did was I put like a Christmas color. I could put the green and the purple together. And then I put the red and the blue together. So they had a Christmas color and another color. All right. So that is their main gift is this little fun thing. What I usually do is I print them a whole bunch of paper books. But honestly, they're, I just don't have the time to do it this year. Yeah. So they're going to get this thing. And like I said, I've got those little mini candy canes that I'll probably give them and they'll get the Polar Express belt. I'm kind of doing lots of little things this year rather than a bigger thing and I usually give them a pack of crayons and an activity book but I'm not sure I'm going to do that either. I don't know. I'll have to think about it because it's tomorrow. I have to have it ready for tomorrow. <laughs> probably won't do the crayons because I don't think I can get to them. They're in my closet and there's just stuff on the floor in front of my closet because we keep we got stuff after I'd already like organized a little bit. I do mean a little bit, very tiny. So that will probably be the main part of what they get. Yeah, that's probably gonna be. But it's gonna be pretty simple this year. I just I buy a lot for my classroom. I buy a lot for my kids, and I do it through the year. So at Christmas, I just can't go crazy and do a ton like an expensive gift. So yeah, yep. But I think they'll like it. They'll be good. 
It's just a little thing. Like I saw, I kind of try to do like a stocking stuffer kind of thing. Yeah, and I think they enjoy that. Alrighty, I'm going to go and try to get those parent gifts done, and I'll check back in with you later. Hello! As you can see, I am at my reading table. My hair is looking worse for the wear, <laughs> but whatever. It's just looking sad. Sad, sad, sad. Whatever. Okay, so the, <laughs> we had a whirlwind afternoon. We got a lot done. So the kids got their bow picked out, and they got their name put on their tag. And this, I can just slide this off so you can see the inside of it. Okay, these are the parent calendars that we made for the, the gifts. And I put the kiddos' names. There's a picture of the whole class in their gingerbread costumes. And then they made a calendar, and so the parents can just like pull off the page as the year goes by. And I put their name here, and then first grade. And then I just folded it over, and I put a little green string yarn around it. Okay, and then they got to pick the bow they wanted and stick it on there, so it's ready to go. And then I had them color a gingerbread house, and cut it out and stick it on their bag. And that's where their little snowman ornaments are going to go so they can take them home. So I just have to, I put their names on the back of the bags before I handed them out. That way I didn't have a guessing game to play at the end of the day. So I'm going to get those packaged so those are ready to go. Because I remember from every year, the last day, that's a half day, is wacky. Like it just goes like that and they're gone. You're like, ah, I didn't have time to do anything. So yeah. We don't want that to happen again. So, yeah. I'm going to get these ready so they can just take them with them. I may just put them in their cubbies as a matter of fact. I think I'll do that. Because I'm going to tell them they don't even need to unpack. No reason. No. Yeah, and I sent their papers that we had made, like the Santa Stuck thing and the crazy Rudolph's Crazy Cousin. I sent that home with them today. They got their Polar Express bell bad when you can't read your own writing. I think I know who that is. <laughs> um, so, because I knew tomorrow would just be too quick. I wonder if this one didn't finish her thing. Oh, she didn't finish hers. Okay, well, she'll have to do it in the morning. Yeah. So, now I have to, like, match the little snow people to their bags. That's, that's fun. I laid out the bags. That might be smart, huh? That's so smart. Here. So this is kind of a little gifty too. And see, once you get it in the bag, it becomes like a little gingerbread house. See? Isn't that cute? Totally made by the kids. So there's one. There's another one. Yay. Let's hear it for the internet working so I can print stuff out. Ah. All right. So I'm going to get these done. And then, um, remember the, my administration, that's what they're called, <laughs> we're doing the 12 days of Christmas, and every day we got a special something. Today, yesterday's thing was um, to either have them cover a 20-minute recess duty for you, or that you could leave 20 minutes early. So this girl said, hey, can this be used tomorrow on our last day, on our half day? Because we... I think teachers can leave at one. I don't think they've ever actually said that's always that's how it's always been before when we got out at noon. So okay, kids get out at three and we can leave at three forty five. So I'm thinking if we get out at twelve twenty, teachers can leave at like one fifteen or something. So I can leave before one, a little bit before one. So I was given the okay as long as I didn't if my duties were finished at the end of the day, then I could leave twenty minutes early. I'm like, all right, that's what I'm doing. So yay, I'm excited. So excited. Yes. So my daughter will be over here early enough because she will get out at 12.20 and zip right on over here. So she'll be here by 12.40 for sure. It takes a good 15, 20 minutes to get over here from her school because of the traffic and stuff and the distance. But I cannot believe I picked the right bag and I got the snowman here. Amazing. For those of you that didn't get to see these snowmen before, aren't these the cutest thing? These are just the battery operated tea lights. We put pom-poms. I cut little pipe cleaners and we put pom-poms on the end. That should have gone up a little further. And then we just hot glued a ribbon on the back. And then when you switch it on. Oh, no, this one's not working. You know, for some reason, this one was on. I don't know why because I didn't turn them on. You can kind of see it. Yeah. So, 
they light up when you flip the little switch on the back. So it's kind of sad that it's not working though. I don't I noticed it was on when I was looking at the table, so somebody messed with it because I did not switch those on. So I don't know what's up with that. So we didn't decorate cookies today because honestly I think the kids were pretty much sweeted out, really. We did finish watching Polar Express after a couple of little glitches, but we did get it to work. And um, that was good. And then we had some more hot chocolate, in which I need to dump the rest of it somewhere. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I have nowhere to put it. Okay, so I need to dump the hot chocolate somewhere. I don't know what to do with it, honestly. I hate to throw it down the drain, but what else am I going to do with it? Because I can't let it... I can't leave the crock pot on here all night long. And I can't take it home the way it is because it will spill on my car. So I'm kind of stuck. Know. All the kids had another cup of it, and it was like that was plenty, so kids are very excited about decorating their cookies tomorrow because I told them we could do that. And then I told them we would uh, take their presents home and I would give them my present to them. So they're excited about that. We have a half day left. I can make it. I can make it. The kids are super excited. But even they are kind of winding down a little bit because I think they're um, kind of like burning themselves out. <laughs> they don't have enough excitement to continue. All right. So now I've got my pile of parent gifts. And I've got my pile of well, the ornaments, the ornaments are kind of a parent gift too, so I'm going to match these up and put them in cubbies. This hat is so itchy. I'm wearing a different hat tomorrow, so that'll be good. And then I'll get ready to go because I can leave in about 40 minutes. Yeah, basically. I may have just gotten a text from my daughter too, so that's good. Alrighty, so I will probably just say goodbye here because I'm not sure if we're going <laughs> to... That's beautiful. I'm not sure if we're going to go shopping after school or not. My daughter had finals yesterday and today, and she has two tomorrow. So she may be just, like, brain drained and not want to do anything. But if she wants to go shopping, I would be happy to go shopping and try to finish it up. But if she doesn't want to, I'm okay with that, too. thought about just doing it tomorrow when all of her theoretically stress is over because she'll be done. But <laughs> look at that puny little bow. That's the one they chose, so okay. Yeah. But I think, ugh, I think the parents will be liking what they got, probably. Okay, so I will see you later, probably tomorrow. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He is making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Merry Vlogmas.